Складно сказати доброго ранку всім через те, що ми побачили. Перш за все, хочу подякувати людям місцевим з Ягідну. Вони прийшли. Таке катування, такий страшний шлях, шлях героїв абсолютних, від дітей до людей літніх, дорослих, різних, які пройшли. А пройшли, я їм дякую за те, що вони вижили, змогли дочекатись наших воїнів. І для того, щоб розповісти всьому світу таку трагедію, яку принесла Російська Федерація, саме російські військові, разом з їх керівництвом, їх президентом, принесла нашу землю. Те, що зараз ми тут почули, ну, просто трагедія абсолютна. А страждання, катування, навіть не, просто не людське відношення до, а, до всього живого. 400 людей в Ягідному, біля 400 людей жило до окупації, і всі люди, 370 людей були в цьому підвалі, в підвалі менше 200 квадратних метрів. В підвалі були 27 днів, вижили стоячи і сидячи. 11 людей загинуло, на жаль, і були малюки, сказали зараз свідки, що були малюки півтора місяця. І всі ці люди якимось чином в пітьмах, в темряві абсолютні жили, чекали назад Україну, чекали і писали все, що могли в темряві писати, писали прізвища тих людей, хто загинув, щоб їх не забути з датами, уявіть собі, а діти писали рядки гімну України. Це так важливо, що ці люди вижили. Так важливо, що війська наші докуповують сьогодні щоденно маленькі такі містечка, де справжні герої. І так важливо, що сьогодні у нас є наші партнери, що вони все це бачать. Це важливо бачити, бути в таких підвалах, щоб зрозуміти, допомагати Україні або думати щось ще думати, як так знайти спосіб говорити з Російською Федерацією, як так знайти дипломатичний шлях до цих абсолютних вбивць і негідних людей. І тому сьогодні та, віце-канцлер Німеччини Роберт Гавик, і я дякую за підтримку також Європейському Союзі сьогодні, Марія Туди, генеральний секретар Ради Європи, і хочу подякувати також, окрім наших воїнів, всім місцевим жителям і місцевій владі. Кожного дня в цій окупації боролись за, за своє життя. Можу додати тільки одне, побачив все це, можу побажати президенту Росії провести залишок своїх днів в підвалі і з ведром замість туалета. Ось, в принципі, і все. А дякую ще раз Україні за те, що є у нас такі... Борці за, за життя. Слава Україні! Uh, so nutshell, uh, there, there 400 370 uh, they, uh, did not have any lighting, they did not have any medicine, they had to stay for a month, and 11 of them unfortunately died. There were little children there, including babies. The youngest was a month and a half, and the little children, even sometimes using the pencils and the paints, uh, were making drawings on the walls, and you can just imagine, sometimes they were even writing the words of the anthem on the wall. Uh, so, of course, uh, that was deeply impressive, and I would like to thank everyone who survived. It's very important that they survived here, the residents of this settlement. I'd like to thank all of our international partners who are helping us, who are visiting us today here. And the only thing I'd like to add in the end, I wish uh, the president of Russia to stay till the end of his life in a basement like this with a bucket instead of a toilet.
the intelligence uh, running up to that event whenever it happened. And can I ask you about what happened in St. Petersburg yesterday, a bomb in a cafe in the, in the middle of a major Russian city. What does that say for you about the situation inside Russia today? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So many questions and so many news for me for one morning, especially this day, the day of the occupation of this of this region, region of heroes again, I just repeat, uh, what about our movings forward and the occupation movings on the battlefield? You have, I think, more information than I have. I can, I can't sorry share when uh, we'll be ready for very concrete things, but we are preparing, we'll be strong on the battlefield will deoccupate our land and uh, it, it's so difficult to say how it will, will be and when it will be. I can't give you very concrete things because we don't want to give any possibility for terrorists from Russia Federation to prepare for our deoccupation methods and steps, but we will do it and they have to know it that we will do it and they have time to go away or we will kill them. And about Sankt Petersburg, you know, I, I don't, I'm not thinking what's going on in Sankt Petersburg or in Moscow. They have to think, Russia has to think about their cities. I'm thinking about our, our country and our cities. Thank you. I will be honest, it's not because Mr. Gabik is here. I mean that we need more support, not only from German, from United States, from Britain, from EU, because we want to have peace. But what to have? How to have peace with Russia? Just to win on the battlefield in our country, on our land, to stop Russia. Because after Ukraine, they, they will go through Europe. And we know, you see the results, how 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 they what what they do on 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 other lands in other cities in other countries that's why we we have to be strong for this we need tough ammunition all the number of this ammunition our partners have so we are just waiting for such ammunition such kind of western kind of troops military and thanks to everybody, to our partners who gives us and is giving us and gave us a lot of very, very important things which really saved and will save the lives of Ukrainians. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know the, the, the real sum of money of what, because you, you see that not all the territories are deoccupied. That, that's why I can't give you real total uh, the money what we'll need. Of course, it's about hundreds of billions. And uh, of course, but first of all, you, you know that the, 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 the problem is not only, we are not thinking only about money. We have to think about mental health. We have to psychological things. How to how how to do with this? You see, after such such cases, what what money? I, I think there is no any money to to you know to to give people the same life what they had before the Russian invasion. That's why I don't know the cost of our life. I think we, we have no the, the real answer on your question, but we have to work with it. And of course, we need money for fast recovery, because now what we have, all our money we have, we push and give all our money, all our budget to the battlefield, to our army, to sailors, and to, to, for, for sailors, for everything. And of course, helping to for our teachers, medicine, and you understand it, and that's why we don't have money for innovation, really. And I think that 
it's not enough. If we don't have, that means we don't have enough. That's why we need support of our partners. Thank, thank you. Well, well, about ammunition, what, what? I, I couldn't understand. Are talking about ammunition, ammunition from other European countries? Are there any news? Any news about some more ammunition? What? Have European countries placed new orders since they agreed on the joint procurement of ammunition? Do you have any arms About producing, I, I don't know. I don't know what they what they what they gave, what 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 contracts and etc. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.